Welcome to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and a huge thank you to everyone that continually supports my channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Today's video is a glam living room tour. Starting off with my chandelier lamps, which I got from Amazon. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you would have already seen some of these pieces in my previous living room tour. But I noticed I did not show you guys inside of the lamp, like what the underneath looks like. So I wanted to show you guys. It's so feminine. It's very dainty. And I love the fact that whomever it was that designed this particular piece they brought that really delicate, expensive, luxury look right through. It's not just the top, but the whole thing itself is gorgeous. Going on to my pictures, I got my pictures from HomeSense. And I always love oversized pictures, especially in a small space. And also pictures help to define a space. I've got open concept with my dining and my living room area. So I like when I put up pictures or mirrors, there's intent and it belongs to a specific location. A good print is so important in elevating a look, especially a glam look, making the room feel and look more luxurious than, than what you probably paid for it. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars to get that feel. Little details on your artwork goes a long way. One of my favorite details on this particular floral print is that it has the sketching, so just the lined work. Then it has the lined work with the colored print and then it has just the print so it kind of shows you the process from drawing the flowers to the actual finished product which I think it's beautiful and those are little details that I look for when I'm looking at a print it's not just flowers but there's a story there and I really appreciate that the border of it is kind of a chrome champagne-ish color which goes perfect for tying in my dining room if you haven't seen my dining room tour I will link it check that out the dining room is more creams and earthy colors so it does tie it into the space nicely and that was one of the reasons why I chose this print when I do my fall living room look, those prints aren't going to be there. Something else is going to replace that. And I'm excited to show you guys the finish and touch. So this is what the living room looks like now. The decorative pillows. Guys, I am obsessed with decorative pillows. But it takes me forever to buy something or even find something I like. Because I'm just so picky. But let's talk about this pillow. I paid, I think it was either 39 or dollars $49.99 at HomeSense. I love it. It doesn't matter where you're standing. It gives us really gorgeous, beautiful shimmer and shine. And what I really love about this pillow is it's actually, there's an embroidered part to it. So some is just smooth and some is embroidered and it's the embroidered parts that are the shimmer and shiny parts. Just beautiful. Um, the next pillow in the middle here is the cow hide and I don't know if it's paint or what they did but it's cowhide with the silver it kind of looks like ribs actually or even like a zebra print um, that is also from HomeSense it was a hundred dollars and it is one of my favorite I literally fashioned getting any other pillows off of that particular one it is so beautiful and it cost me a pretty penny so this will be in my living room for a long time to come but it was so worth it and then this is another new one this was between 39 and 49.99 as well it's got really beautiful leaves it is embroidered but it's not really thick it's just kind of the embroidered part is really only just the, the leaves so it is beautiful. I like it. I thought that it was very befitting of the living room. And when you have a very neutral palette like I have, where everything is monochromatic, one of the ways to really elevate your space and just make it more visually appealing and feel more cohesive and not so much like is just all one tone is to make sure that your decorative pieces 
are textured. You want different textures, you want uh, different prints and patterns, and that's really going to tie everything together and break it up a bit so that it's just more visually appealing when you look at it. These little pillows come with the chair. The chairs are custom made. I can't put a link. There is no link. But what you guys can do is check out Instagram. And you can also just Google tufted living room furniture. And you'll be surprised. There's things that look exactly like this that will come up. This blanket, the decorative blanket, is beautiful. It's really not my style. But what made me buy it is that it has that shimmer in it if you look at it good it's it has like the little shine it almost looks like diamonds in person it is stunning I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it and I thought you know what this is gonna give my living room a little bit of a different look than the normal fluffy cozy thick blankets that I normally have and also it's summertime I wanted something a bit lighter so I got two of those and everything is doubled up so I've got two of each pillow on each of the love seats and staying true to the glam diva in me the shimmer pillow really does help to bring out a lot of that shine and shimmer from the throws and so that's why I paired the pillows in that specific order. Even though the pictures are tones of greens and pinks and peaches, it still does look beautiful with the gray because of how I've styled this monochromatic look. The lamp is perfect for a small space because the base is not too big. It's nice and small so it fits in that tiny area really well and it's a nice slim stand going right up to the neck of it where you've got a circular cascade of crystals. I love it. And then you have kind of those drop crystals on the bottom just tying everything in so elegantly. These curtains are definitely an eye catcher. It's something that everybody compliments me on when they see my home in person. I got them from my mom's friend's store. There is no link, unfortunately. It is a small family-owned business, but I do love them. Now, my living room area before, these two kind of tree stumps, that was what was the legs to my coffee table. After I got a new coffee table, I decided I want to be able to use this somewhere else. So I use it to put my plant on. Now, I don't have a green thumb, but I'm really proud because I've kept this one alive for almost two years. So I'm very actually it has been two years from 2019. So I'm super happy. And I decided, let me put it on a pedestal. <laughs> the planter pot is from HomeSense. I think it was between $34 and $39.99. I wanted two of them. At first, I was only able to find one, but that's okay because it worked out perfect. And to get this color, I used a silver chrome spray paint. I've had these particular pieces. They came in singles. I bought three of them for well over five years now. I got them from Dollarama, and I just glammed them out with some stick-on crystals, and that just brought it to a whole different look. My wallpaper, I adore. Door. I think it's beautiful and I however have been thinking of changing it not sure just yet but it is a beautiful textured wallpaper and it does really add a lot of elegance to my space these two candle holders they actually were a set of three from Kitchen Stuff Plus. I accidentally broke one and now these kind of just sit in the living room over my Rogers cable box we don't really watch TV anyways, so I don't know why that's there. But anyways, that's where they live for now. They're not going to stay there. I do have some different things I have to do with the living room. It's not finished. These legs are something I really wanted to let you guys know. Again, it did come from Amazon and it does help to feminize the space elegantly. I am at a standstill with my TV. Guys, let me know what you think. So initially I had a 45 inch and I went to a 50 inch. Now this is a 55 inch and I'm still thinking I want to go bigger. I think I'm, I'll be happy at a 65 inch, but just to make sure I'll probably just tape out the measurements so that I can have a visual. And my other thing is, I don't know if I want to do a curved TV in this space. Shiloh thinks it'd be a good idea to do a curved TV and I'm, I'm really just debating. So let me know in the comments, what do you guys suggest? I get so many questions on my fireplace. I will link the link in the description. 
where I got my fireplace from. Um, but I wanted to show you guys something I haven't showed you before. So it does come with a remote control, but there is also a control panel right on the face of it. But because it's black, it just ties right in. It is touch and it has power, heat, air, and then a timer. And it tells you what the temperature is at. So I really love that feature because it's not bulky buttons. I've, I never use it on heat. I put it on the heat once and it got hot really fast. And because hair is so small, it makes the space very hot. But I just keep it for the look. It makes it feel nice and cozy. And I really love just walking inside, especially on a cold day and seeing a fire burning. It automatically makes you feel warm. This coffee table stressed me out guys i've been looking for like eight months for a coffee table you'd never believe after stalking different furniture stores on instagram and messaging people i walked into a family-owned furniture store close to my home I explained to the guy, first of all, his customer service was amazing, but I explained to him exactly what I was looking for. And then he said he had it. And I thought, yeah, right. But I said, let me humor him. Let's see what he's going to show me, guys. And I was blown away. It was exactly what I had in my mind's eye for the space. And I'm so happy and excited that I even walked in the store because on the outside, it doesn't look like it would have anything that would really be of interest to me, but I took a chance and I walked in. The lucite legs are beautiful. I love the shape of the bottom of the table or the mid part of the table. I think that is really sexy. It's very slim into the space. It doesn't look bulky or heavy. And then the top of the table is tempered class. I love this coffee table. It does exactly what I want it to do in this space. It doesn't overwhelm it. And when I do my fall home tour, you guys will see what I do on the table there. I purposely did not do anything on the top of the table because I really just wanted to show you guys how beautiful it was. And I didn't want anything distracting from its natural beauty and elegance. You've seen this a million times if you've been watching my channel for a while, so I'm not going to go into too much details, but if you want to know where I got these items from, check out my previous home tour. It'll be linked in the description. This hand I got from HomeSense and I had it sitting at my front entrance with for keys and I just switched it out to give a different feel and I kept keep my remote controls in there. I like everything to have a purpose and a home. So if I'm going to get something, it's something I got to use in multiple rooms and also that makes sense using for multiple things. This candle piece I got from HomeSense, this candle is my absolute favorite and actually sounds like a crackle in fire. So when you have your fireplace on and you light that candle, it really sounds like the fireplace is burning wood. And I just love the way it makes me feel. I love the way it makes the space feel and smell. Well, that comes to the end of the video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching the updated glam home living room tour. I do have a couple things I want to do. I still have to get my coffee table completed, get some new items for that. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my TV situation. If you guys can please leave me some comments. Let me know, should I leave it the way it is right now at 55 inches, move up to 65 inches or get a curved TV. And the pictures have outlived their time in the living room. They will be moving on to another area of my home. Once I do the updates with the TV, the coffee table and the pictures, I'll be sure to show you guys. But I do have a special video coming up. It's been a while since I did a bedroom tour and I've made some changes. So keep an eye out for that video. I'll see you guys then. And <music>